Hi, my name is Russell Gruen, and I'm the Dean of the College of Health and Medicine at the Australian National University, which is on the land of the Ngunnawal people who've cared for it for thousands of years before we were here. And I pay my respects to their elders past and present. For almost 20 years, I was a trauma surgeon in the busiest trauma centres in Australia and America. And I spent a lot of my career working to improve health and health services in the Asia Pacific region. This photo now behind me is of a project in rural Myanmar. I'll bet some of the reasons I came to ANU three years ago might be reasons you would choose to study here. I wanted to be part of an institution recognised globally for scientific excellence and pushing the frontiers of knowledge. ANU has four Nobel Prizes in Health and Medicine, more than any other university in Australia. I wanted to be part of a university that prepares leaders for the future. Prime Ministers, health system leaders, professional college presidents, and international agencies like Medicine Sans Frontieres, the WHO, and the UN. I wanted to be part of a university that's actively strengthening and reforming health systems. Being located in Canberra, as the first and only national university, we work with governments and national agencies to shape the health systems of the future in Australia and in the Asia Pacific. We've also been integral to the national response to the bushfires and the global pandemic. Our approach as the national university has been to quietly work with government and the community behind the scenes, ensuring decision makers have the support and information they need. And I wanted to be part of a university that was known to be a great place to work and to study and enables communities to flourish. We have the nation's most beautiful university campus and Canberra is Australia's best kept secret as a place to live. More importantly, ANU sits among the world's other elite, small and distinctive universities where you're likely to know and share learning experiences with all your classmates. You will be taught by some of the world's leaders in their field. You'll have privileged access to national institutions, including government. And when you graduate, you'll have a degree that opens doors everywhere. The College of Medicine is for you. If you're interested in careers in medicine, psychology, public health, and biomedical science, body, mind, and society, if you like, Increasingly, we're developing ways to ensure anyone doing a degree in one of these areas also has a strong understanding of the others. So that medical students, for example, will graduate with expertise, not just in physical health, but also in mental health, public health and human behavior. As a small elite university, we can do this in ways that much bigger universities can't. There are a number of paths from school into these professional careers. This morning, Professor Kieran Kirk, the Dean of the College of Science, talked about bachelor's degrees in science that can lead you to a professional graduate coursework degree in medicine or in psychology or public health or a master's or PhD research higher degree. This is a fine pathway that many students pursue. The College of Health and Medicine also runs two three-year undergraduate programs of its own. The Bachelor of Psychology is another pathway to the professional psychology degrees, including honours and then the Master of Clinical Psychology or the Master of Professional Psychology, which can both be combined with a PhD. The Bachelor of Health Sciences is a pathway to both medicine, the four-year MCHD degree, or to public health, especially the two years Masters of Public Health. ANU, of course, is famous also for its double degrees, and these are also available within our college. You can enter postgraduate medicine at ANU from ANU undergraduate degrees in science or health sciences. We are also keen to attract the best students from any undergraduate program at ANU, and the very top students should be looking at the Tuckwell Scholarships Program. We take applicants from other universities into postgraduate medicine through the GAMSAT. If you do postgraduate medicine at ANU, 
you'll be taught the scientific basis of medicine by the leading minds across the university. You'll be taught patient care from clinicians in hospitals in Canberra and Sydney, mental health from specialist psychologists and psychiatrists, population health of the people of ACT in southern New South Wales, remote and Indigenous health in the NT, and leadership from our government and professional organisation leaders. Many undergraduates are more interested in population health than clinical medicine and go on to health degrees at our National Centre for Epidemiology and Population Health, which has trained the nation's field public health workforce for over 30 years through both the MPH and through the Masters of Applied Epidemiology program. Australia's only internationally accredited field public health program, and which has been so important during the pandemic. Of course, many of our undergraduates go on to be researchers and to explore their passions in biomedicine, public health and psychology through masters and doctorate research degrees. There are many specialisations that can position you well with a qualification from a highly respected research intensive university known to live up to its motto, first, understand the nature of things. Now, because we're online, it isn't possible to meet you in person, answer your questions and show you around as I would love to do. But I wanted you to be able to hear from some of our students. So I'm joined live today by three who will give you a great flavor of what it's like to study here through our College of Health and Medicine. First, we'll hear from Afla Khan, who has an undergraduate degree in psychology and who is studying her PhD in psychology. Then we'll hear from Thomas Cherian, who graduated from the Bachelor of Health Sciences and is now doing the Masters of Public Health. And finally, from Gabrielle, Cross, uh, Gro Gabrielle Gross, who did an undergraduate Bachelor of Genetics with honours and is now completing a medical degree. I'll flow over to you first. Thanks, Russell. Hi, everyone. My name is Aflaha, and today I'll be speaking to you about my experiences as both an undergraduate and a postgraduate psychology student here at the ANU. I'm hoping that by sharing some of my experiences, you will get a better sense of whether studying psychology at the ANU might be right for you. I'm currently in the fourth and final year of my PhD in clinical psychology, but my journey as a student at the ANU actually began 10 years ago in 2012. I had just finished year 12 and had decided that I wanted to go to university. And given that I've lived in Canberra since the age of seven, ANU was naturally my first choice as it meant that I could remain close to my family and my friends. I may be biased, but I believe Canberra is a great place to live and study as it is easy to get around and you're never too far from the city or nature. Coming into my first year, I was excited about, I was, I was really excited, but I was also really anxious about a whole bunch of stuff finding my way around, being late, not knowing anyone in my classes, making friends, assignments, exams. It was definitely a steep learning curve, but everyone around me was in the same boat and together we successfully stumbled our way through each semester. And slowly things that we were anxious about started to become second nature. I also knew that I was generally interested in science, but I didn't have a clear idea of the career that I wanted to pursue. But as I progressed through my undergraduate years, I was able to clarify this. And I think this was because my degree allowed me the flexibility to explore a broad range of topics as elective subjects, such as sociology, environmental sciences, biology, chemistry, to name a few. Completing these elective courses only confirmed my interest in psychology further. The compulsory psychology subjects in my degree were also quite broad in the first year of study and increased in depth in the years um, following. So this really helped me also to clarify the topics within psychology that interested me. So when I got to the end of my third year, I was confident that I wanted to complete my honours and pursue postgraduate studies. Honours was definitely the most challenging year of my academic journey thus far. It was the next steepest learning curve after first year for me, just because of how much I had to do in just the short nine months that I had. Despite being challenging, it was also the year that I made one of my closest university friends, developed a whole set of new research skills that um, continue to be with me now. And I also realized how passionate I am about psychology and con contributing to research. After finishing honors, I took a year long break from uni and in the following year, I was successful in securing a place in the very competitive combined clinical psychology masters and PhD program here at the ANU. This program is four years in length and it includes coursework, clinical placements and research. So it's been a busy few years to say the least. 
you're constantly juggling more than one ball. Only 15 students started, started with me, and this was considered a larger cohort than average. Only half were clinical PhD students like me, and the other half were clinical master's students who were completing all the same coursework and placement requirements, but a much smaller research project. So their program was only two years in length. Despite being very busy and having, a, uh, having this small cohort meant that we were very well supported by, by the admin and academic staff, and the structure provided really helped my learning and growth, both, both as a scientist and a practitioner. We've also made friendships that will stand the test of time and distance. In completing the various components of the program, I've also been exposed to various opportunities to build connections within the university and the professional and research community around us, despite the pandemic. There has, of course, been a change to the way that we've had to do some things, but our teachers have really done all they can to make sure that we remain well and that the quality of our education is not impacted. This has really enabled me to continue building the necessary knowledge base and skills required to be the psychologist I now am, but also continue to grow as a person. I hope that your journey at the ANU, if you wish to start one in the coming year, is as fulfilling as mine has been. Wishing you all the best and hope to see you around next year. Hi everyone, um, my name is Thomas. Um, as Russell mentioned, I'm doing a flexible vertical double degree of a combined um, Bachelor of Health Science and a Master of Public Health. And well, it's a bit of a mouthful, but essentially I'm in my final semester of public health right now. And I'm sure many of you are wondering why ANU would be the right university for you. And I thought it would just best to explain what, why I chose ANU and essentially um, what my experience was like. So the main reason why I chose ANU was due to the flexibility. Um, ANU is really known for their double degrees and um, it's really well done in that um, you can combine two separate degrees and get them into one and really save a year or so of study by getting that extra degree. And whilst there's that obvious appeal, I was kind of worried, um, would I just be doing compulsory studies all the way until I graduate? And thankfully this was not true at all. Um, the whole time, um, whilst I had to do like some core components in biology, chemistry and public health, there was plenty of opportunities to um, go abroad and just really explore um, during a university through, through university, which is something you really want to do. Um, like personally, um, during my undergraduate years, um, I got to study a few courses in management, which is just an interest of mine. Um, also in my postgraduate years, um, last semester and this semester, I both was fortunate enough to do an internship. One with was with ACT Health. Mom was with the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare. And these have been unreal experiences because um, you really want to know when studying, well, in my case, studying public health, you really want to know what a career in health looks like. And just having those opportunities in a workplace industry has been really eye-opening and what a career in health could look like post-university. And speaking more specifically about the Master of Public Health, um, like most postgraduate course, coursework degrees at the ANU, um, they're very small, so you really get to know the lecturers and um, like the class size is really small, so you get to really know the lecturers and you really get to fire away all the questions you really want to ask and the, the tutorials are very discussion-based and very interactive. And I find that like really um, invaluable because it's almost impossible not to be involved. Um, so yeah, that, that was a really great part of the Master of Public Health program. And I think another great part of the Master of Public Health program is the lecturers simply because they all have um, a, like a wide background or particularly in global health, they all have researched and worked in these fields. And it's like just really good to also get an insight of what work and research would be like post graduation, really on an idea of global health, you can really understand um, what opportunities are available out there. And also um, with the public health program, you have to do some introductory courses in biostatistics, epidemiology, um, social indeterminants of health and you also have to do a course in health services and research and policy and if you're like me beyond those um, introductory courses um, you can just choose whether you want to go into one direction or you can go to another or you can just choose to do all of them just like I did and yeah that was like a real unreal experience and you can also go into more left field subjects as well. Um, and our left field subject I'm doing this semester is communication and healthcare, communication and healthcare which is basically a linguistic approach to deconstructing the way information is communicated in the healthcare field, which is like pretty cool because there are students from the public health um, 
program and there's also students from like a linguistics background and that's something that ANU really stresses it's like more interdisciplinary so you really get to um, communicate with other students and really um, get a more wide and varied um, education while studying at ANU so yeah those are the that was my experience at ANU so hopefully that was insightful and I'll hand it over to you Gabby. So hi everyone, my name's Gabby. I'm a fourth year medical student and I'm also president of our Medical Student Society and I'm very grateful for the opportunity to come and chat with you today. So I thought I'd have a bit of a chat to you about my journey into medicine and to try to demonstrate to you the journey that life can take you on and the fact that all of you would be welcome at ANU Medicine despite what walk of life you come from. So I started at a very, very small country town far up in North Queensland and thought at the end of primary school I was gonna become a ringer on a cattle station. Then I went into high school, thought I was going to become a famous singer, was going to go to X Factor, do all the things, going to see me on the stage, decided that also maybe wasn't for me when I got a bit scared. Then I decided I was going to become a teacher. That was definitely what I was going to do. And I spent my gap year spending time teaching, also realised that was definitely not for me. Decided I was going to go and become a researcher. So I was very, very honoured to do my undergraduate at ANU. Had the most wonderful time, made incredible friends, got to the point that I was in the laboratory and started talking to the mice and realised that I needed to talk to people. So then at the day that I handed in my honours thesis, I found out, unfortunately, that my mother was sick and became a full-time carer for a year, looking after my mother until she passed away. It was this life journey that made me decide to become a doctor because I wanted to be involved in the healthcare that looked after her. And I can say now that that was the best decision that I have ever made in my life, not just medicine, but in particular doing medicine here at ANU. It's an absolutely fantastic course with an incredible culture that is second to none in Australia. Because we are a pass-fail course, it means that we have a huge emphasis on collegiality and supporting each other and looking after each other. We're all friends, including with all the staff. We have a fantastic, fantastic relationship with the staff. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to get to know Professor Gruen very well, and that's not something that you hear about at other unis where you get to get to know the college dean. Um, we've also got phenomenal clinical skills. We, we, we start doing clinical skills in year one, um, which isn't something you hear about at other universities. We've got super passionate teachers and we've got um, guaranteed internships with the Canberra Health Services, which is, again, something very, very unique to Canberra. I then reflect on my journey in medicine and consider the career path that I originally thought. Becoming a singer, you can see behind me, we do this thing called ANU Med Review, where we have so many different opportunities to get involved in extracurricular activities at ANU, which meant that I got to do my dream of singing. I've been a teacher. We've had so many opportunities to teach other courses and other medical students within the degree. I've been a researcher. We have fantastic research opportunities here at ANU, including the JCSMR, which sits underneath our college and has incredible, incredible opportunities. And coming full circle, I've had the opportunity to sit with a daughter, hold her hand as her mother was passing away in my journey as a full-time carer to help her through. I haven't yet gotten to be a cowgirl, but I hope that I'll get to do that if I get an opportunity in rural medicine. So good luck in your journey in life. Consider a career in medicine, no matter who you are, and consider it at ANU because it's a phenomenal university. Thanks, Gabby, and thank you to Afa and Thomas as well. I'm very proud of, of these three students, but they are just representative of hundreds and hundreds of other students across our college, all of who are pursuing their own journey, and I think all of them are being very much fulfilled by the time they're spending here at ANU. We will warmly welcome applications and interest to the College of Health and Medicine. We will try to help you realise your dreams and create the course that you want to study. Um, I think we have a slide here that can show you the contact uh, email for you to email the university. It's a, again, it's a shame that I can't uh, show you around um, as I would love to have done today, but uh, if you give us an email, someone will return your email quickly and we hopefully can help you fast the, the, pace, uh, the pathway for you to ANU and to the journey that you want to take in your life. Thank you for a great session. Thanks again to Afla, Thomas and Gabby. And we look forward to seeing you here at ANU in the College of Health and Medicine.